Hi, I'm Sarah the Gardener, and you have just been watching the act of a desperate gardener. Today is the first sunny, sunny day that we have had in ages. We've had days without rain, but not many. This is the first sunny day, although I have my suspicions it'll stay like that because you should have seen it this morning. It was like this. And now it's clouded over. It'll probably rain this afternoon. Hence the crazy mowing. Now my soil is sodden. It is unbelievable. The soil table is above the water. When you push the mower through the puddles, it makes this noise. I don't think you're supposed to hear that when you're mowing. But it's just so long and out of control. And if I don't do something now, it will be really hard to whip into shape. I've probably destroyed my soil structure in the grassy area. I will have compacted it to within an inch of its life. Probably squashed a few worms, expelled all the oxygen. It's gonna take a long time to recover, but I figure this is, it's, it's the path. It's not important. The, the beds are what's important. And I'd like to be able to see them through the long grass. So I have pushed through and mowed my lawn, but I wouldn't recommend it. You know, don't copy me. It's desperate times, call for desperate measures. But let me show you what's going on. There are things, exciting things. Just a bit floody. Anyway. been using a long plank so that I can remove the weeds from my garden without standing on it because the soil is still very very wet and I don't want to compact the soil it's um, my growing medium I shall wait for that to drain naturally before I start digging about in it but at least I can remove the weeds right. We can have as many salads as we want, which is really good because they're delicious. I'm so excited for the strawberries. It won't be long. Now what I have to deter the birds are these stones that I've painted to look like strawberries. It'll work for a little while. This tasty delight may just become my lunch. I've got your number. The onions are doing well. And some of them are even making that lovely bulby shape. Won't be long now. The birds are having my peas, which is really annoying. I'll have to come up with a plan. Although they're not getting all of them, which is good. Spuds are looking good. Let's just hope they stay that way. With all this rain, I'm half expecting some blight. If you can see past the weeds, I actually have parsnips in there. But my carrots failed, so I'm going to have to start again. Okay, so this corn it was a bit of a mistake. You see, at the end of the season, my mountain corn, which I wanted to dry on the plant, and my popcorn, same thing, I wanted to dry on the plant, got stripped by rats. So what I thought I'd do this year was sow it early, so it finished early, so it dried early. But apparently some earlies can be too early. And they're desperate to go on the ground, but their beds aren't ready. Their beds are still way too wet. And there is still a risk of frost. So I'm just letting them sun themselves in the breeze while they wait. We've also got some great looking brassicas here that are sunning themselves because as soon as their bed's ready, they are in. They're quite frost tolerant, so it's more of a 
waiting for the room service rather than waiting for the conditions. So with that lot outside, there's a big hole in the greenhouse. There's still a lot going on. Tomatoes, okra, melons, flowers, more flowers, more salad, more peppers. My Be Happy Wildflowers and my kumra is now sprouting so I shall have sweet potato to put in the ground once it's um, safe from frost. It needs a long growing season. My cute zooks and squashes and pumpkins and things are all starting to show themselves. You'd be surprised how quick they grow. So that's me in the garden. I haven't worked so hard in ages because I haven't had the opportunity. I think I'm a little bit out of practice. But um, before I go and go and take care of a mountain of things that need to be done before it rains again, because it will, I have something really exciting to show you. This is brand new. This, see, look, that's my name. This is out in stores in New Zealand this week. It's coming out in Australia. I'm not quite sure when it's going to be available there. It will be in the UK in your spring, which is exciting. And, um, and you can also get it on Amazon. Um, I saw it pre-order though from the 1st of November. So it's quite exciting. It's obviously growing vegetables. And it's just a basic how to grow none of the fancy crazy stuff it's just understanding the hows and the whys and if you want to do the fancy stuff later then go for it but if you have a good solid understanding of what you're doing then your plants will be healthier for it rather than just guessing it's laid out in a in a week by week format and i'll show you it's really cool lots of hints tips instructions photos and places where you can write down all of the things you need to write down. And it's just a great little guide to getting through an entire year in the garden. And then once you finish, you should be confident enough to take on the next year with a good solid foundation. And it's even got a plastic cover on it so you can take it into the garden. I thought of everything. So... This is available if in New Zealand if you want to go to your local good bookstore and ask for it. If it's not there, they'll, they'll get it in for you. So that is my latest effort. It's like having a baby really. At the end of it you go, oh, never do that again. That's too much work. But when you see it, you're like, oh, it's so beautiful. So this is my new book and I'm very, very, very excited. But I need to think now about the new season because the last frost date is two weeks away. I can't tell you when the last rain day will be, but the last frost day is. So normally we plant our vegetables and things out at Labor Weekend, which is normally around the 22nd, 23rd of October, last week or two of October. And that's when we get it all going. So I have plants that are ready to go out on, in two weeks but I don't have a garden that's ready to receive plants in two weeks, so I really need to push on. And hopefully it won't rain. So that's me. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned because this weather can't be gloomy all summer. There will be sunshine, I'm sure of it, and tomatoes and strawberries and fresh peas. More zucchini than we know what to do. Oh my gosh, I better crack on. Take care. Come again soon. Bye.